Hello there, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat Fork career mode. So the last time we were on the truck side of things, we won. We won Chicagoland on a, on a late race. I mean, we had been out there for a long time. Came down, took tires on like a green-way checkered. We didn't have many laps left, and um, yeah, <laughs> we won. So here's a look at the playoff standings. So there's eight of us. Oh, Jesus. And there's eight winners. When the hell did that happen? Well, that's not good. So here's the deal. We've got four races left until the playoffs. In those four races, we've got to be in the top eight of, of winners. Oh, man, that's crazy. So the good news is, as you can see, we're above Todd Gillen by 10 points. So if Harrison Burton wins, Johnny Sauter, Austin Hill, Sheldon Creed, that's four guys that are in front of us in points that have not won yet. One of those guys wins, that puts us back to the AC. And if another one wins, oh boy, that's and that's pretty much it. Because I I can't get in front of Grand Am Finger in points. We're gonna have to hope for uh, Ross Chastain and Brett Moffitt to win more races, um, and hopefully we can win one more. If we win one more, then we're good. We're automatically in then. But uh, oh boy, that's tough. Now, the last race was a hot seat ride at Iowa. We, we filled in for Garrett Smithley and JD Motorsports in a zero car. Ended up getting that. I think I finished 13th. Uh, goal was the top 20, so we got some extra money. Oh, man, look at that. And I still can't quite, like, I don't got, I don't got enough to up the cap. We need 135000 I got up to 124000 It still ain't enough. So, unfortunately, yeah, we can't up that cap. I really wish I could have, but uh, 90 90 90 We've got Kentucky today, and then I don't know what comes after Kentucky, but we'll probably do that too. Well, here we go. On to Kentucky. Um, I made some YOLO adjustments before I went off in qualifying, and then I made some YOLO adjustments before I went off for the race, so I don't know where I'm at now. And Stuart Freeze has been dominant all weekend. I'm safe with my friends. <laughs> well, thanks, Josh. Um, all right, so you guys know Kentucky, the uh, hardest corner in NASCAR. Turn three makes Martin Strax Jr. lose sleep at night. But NASCAR Heat 4 has brought a new element. I think this is the most, uh, this might be the hardest apron in NASCAR. What the fuck is this shit? I don't know. It probably didn't look too bad right there. I ain't seen it yet, but wait till I come back around. Wait till I get on the bottom. Oh, man, it's weird. It's really weird. I went off into practice because it had the, the practice got the, the driving line on. I was like, what the shit am I looking at? Yeah, take me a couple minutes. Look at this. High line of Kentucky. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna take me a minute to get to the bottom and show you what the fuck I'm talking about, but uh, when I when I can, I'll let you know. I really thought the AI would be driving kind of goofy, just the way it's painted goofy, but ooh. Okay, four wide of Kentucky. Well, that's exciting. Oh, that's my best friend. Sorry, best friend. Ah, uh, lesser. All right. Oh, there's Wild Deadly Decker down there too. Their goal's 15th. Oh, hardest corner in NASCAR. Oh. They saved it. I think there's somebody else trying to wreck back there. I don't know what just happened, but... Okay. Take a look at this apron. It's like... It, like, takes two turns. <laughs> what the shit is that? It looks like somebody gave little Timmy some, like, paint and went out there and did the lines for Kentucky. I don't know if it's like that in real life. I'm going to go ahead and say probably not, but you never know. I've never been to Kentucky. I don't even really watch the Kentucky races. Who watches that shit? Nah, I watch Kentucky this year. Not a bad race, but I don't know what to make of this apron thing. I really don't know what to make of it. Watch this. It, like, turns normally, and then all of a sudden it has, like, a kink in it, and then it turns even farther. So half the guys are driving, like, underneath of it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Like, do I try to drive around it? Do I just drive straight over it, like, underneath of it? I don't know. Definitely a lot harder than turn 30. Holy what the Jesus. Jennifer Jo Corncob just I'm I don't even know what to make of that. That was probably the fastest Jennifer Jo Corncob has ever gone in her life to come up there and wreck. She was like, "Is that a rival I see? Let me shift it into fourth and go fuck myself." It's like those action movies where they're like fucking grabbing gears going straight. Oh, there's 16th gear. Let me ram it in there and just boom. What a goofball. Well, way to go there, Jennifer Jo Corncob. Like, I did nothing wrong. She just came up there and wrecked herself. That's, that's, that's fun. 
Well, you you guys know the deal. Turn the uh, stage two, <laughs> turn two, the stage two uh, pit stop. So, yeah. So I didn't really talk much about the setup. I didn't um I didn't know what the hell to do. I just kind of I don't know. I just I did some stuff. I didn't like the original stuff, so I did some more stuff, and here we are with the setup. It um the only thing with it though is oh my good lord, Ben Rhodes has been in it. Okay. You know, it's kind of cool. It's it's really great to see damage actually kind of like when you got that bad engine damage It looks like it actually affects the AI. So I appreciate that um, Yeah, best friend Remy. I like how it gives the little friend thing. Yeah green woo. Okay friends Yeah, this set of burns the right rear really bad. Oh Ikis has been in, in it, too. Oh, no I Hate to see it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I almost forgot I had fresh tires. Yeah, my right my right rear was burnt It was burnt up pretty good Oh goodness gracious! We got two rivals here. This is this is exciting. Don't don't no 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 no. Uh, okay okay well it looks like I'm gonna finish last in this stage. That was worth the caution. Okay thank you. He finally got me. I didn't want to tear up the truck. That's one of the things like. Yeah it's at least in my position now it's it's definitely worth it to not crash. <laughs> So I can save a little bit of the truck's performance afterwards. So, again, a little a little career, career mode feature. It's new with Heat 4, which, you know, it's not it's not much, but it's honest work. So, I need stage points though. Stage points are very important. I'm pissed off now. <laughs> Just realized that. Forgot about that. At least now you guys can see what the apron looks like with a you know a bunch of trucks there. Look, there's like one kink and then it turns even a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I have spun, and I'm already about to come up here and pass Joe Nemechek. Two laps to go. I won't finish last, thanks to Joe. Well, I don't know. He can still wreck me. I don't know if he's totally fast enough to do that. Yeah. Oh, it's stalled right there in the center of the corner. There you go. Neon. See, we can be cool. We can, yeah, that, that, that. we can be cool. We can be cool. Chill out, Joe. We're running for last. All right. Well, white flag and stage. Yeah, none of this stuff really matters right here, but uh, I'm just trying not to wreck it in it. Uh, oh! Ah, oh, thing, it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, you see that right rear, man. It's on the edge. Yeah, I've pretty much just lost on my right rear. Like, once it gets to about Careful, 60s, 50s. Good luck! <laughs> drifting my way through there, don't mind me. Alright, well, that was uh, very scary. Um, 29th. Everybody's gonna be pitting. So, uh, oh man, I mean, we gotta put some fuel in it. Just enough though, that we can make it. There we go, that should do, half cannon. Uh, four tires, damn man, honestly I don't know what to do. I don't wanna crank some more wedge in it, cause this is gonna make it tighter overall. I mean, I could try taking some right rear. I mean, might as well, it's the experiment. Let's see what taking all the right rear air pressure out does. Maybe start a little bit lower, build up a little later, eh, we'll see. Woohoo, seven spots gain. I love my pit crew. Shout out to them. Getting me spots when I need them. All right. Well, if I can make it back to the top 15, that would be great for the goal. Um, obviously, we need to finish good because if we don't, you know, uh, Friesen's up there, and I'm pretty sure Friesen's already got a win. So we're just going to need him to go out there dominate. Yeah, and we're good. As long as somebody else. And then, yeah, every race we can get that, you know, a winner – if somebody's already won on the season, then that is incredibly huge for us. So, Friesen, we appreciate you. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. That was very impressive. <laughs> I love how they don't lose any momentum when they, like, half spin like that. It's just like, they get back in the gas, so they get right back on. It's like, ah, we good. All right. Oh, yeah. It's got a different feeling now. I go off in there. It definitely, I can feel the air pressure I took out of the right rear. It um, it definitely does not roll on it too well. I don't know how to explain that, but like if you're running on a wheel, you can really feel like when you got enough right rear in it or not, or when you lose that right rear. It actually feels pretty. I honestly almost feel like it feels better. I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt the long run. I don't know. This is an experiment. We'll have to see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You need to chill out, corn cob. What is your problem? I get it. You're upset. Oh, corn cob. Oh my God, you're so awful. 
Speaking of awful, Natalie Decker, I don't I don't think you should be crossing me over, but okay. Okay, yeah, have your moment. Oh, we got one blowing. We got one blowing. Oh my god, they're like five wide up there. And oh my. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, and he's staying out too, I think. He didn't make it a pit road. Oh, what is happening? Oh, what's happening, everybody? <laughs> Oh my god, thank you for the free spots, everybody. Oh my god, it's like he was deathly ill. Everybody got the fuck away from him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Way to go! Oh, eat shit. That's what you get. Why you gotta be a hoe about it? Quit being a hoe. That's what you get. Man, trying to right rear me coming out of turn two. That's what you get. All right, well, I guess this is the this is the time where I come. Oh, man, that's the thing, though. I'm in the top 15. My right rear isn't horrible, but it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna last this, this last, like, 10 laps or so. I'm gonna come down. Hmm. I'm gonna smack a little bit more tape on there. I think I can get away with that. Yeah, let's give that another run at it. And this time with uh, a lot fresher tires. I just feel like I'm always better on fresh I mean, obviously, but I just feel like I always got a better shot just coming up through here. Because that way, it's like... The way I look at it, it's, it sucks on old tires. It really does. And, uh, I don't know. You can just blow by people, like, especially rivals. But if I'm up there, man, the tires are already going bad anyways. Joe? I don't think so. There we go. Todd Gillen back here having an awful run. And I'm actually racing him in points since we both have a win, apparently. So, yeah, we'll, we'll need you to stay back there. That's about right, though. Todd Gillen can't drive a thumb up his ass. There we go. I don't know if I'll be able to get back to the top 15, but I'd like to think I'd be able to get pretty close. Obviously, I probably should have been there in the first place with that, uh, whoever the hell was blowing up. Oh, big run off of two. Natalie, and we got Blicky. We gonna, you, you gonna kill yourself again? Oh, it looks like, oh, he will. He saw me coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there he goes around. Man, yeah, nice cover's on it there. That's going to leave me on the bottom. All right, all right. Yeah, he saw me coming. He made sure to hook a hard left. There we go. Well, it gets us a little bit closer. And yeah, I don't think we have too many more, uh, I don't think we have any more rivals up in front of us besides Corn. I don't know why Corn Cobb's having such a good run. I'm offended. I'm going to have to get by Corn Cobb, and that's like the boss level, and then that's it. If I can get by her, I win the game. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm probably gonna try to get around the outside. It's always too clogged in the restart, and I gotta go. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Oh, I shouldn't have. Fuck me. I shouldn't have done that. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm glad I didn't spin, or that would have been the end of that. This cost me a little bit of time. Oh, yeah, there you go. Natalie's up there. Not Natalie. Corn cob. I get my bad female drivers confused. Um, yeah, she, uh, she's up there running the high side. There we go. I'm just going to sneak. Hey, Parker, you mind if I, uh, am up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was anticipating you coming in there and kind of being in the middle of this, but that's okay. Corn Cobb's doing her own thing up there. Okay, cool. Top 15. All right. We can end the race now. How many laps? Ah, we got plenty of time. Maybe I can get up here in the top 10. That boy's up there going for the lead on freezing. Uh oh, are we going to choke another one freezing? That's Grand Infinger. I think he's already got a win. I hope he's already got a win, but I think he does. Yeah, he does, because he's in front of me in points. I mean, that's cool. If he wants to win, he can win. Ben Rhodes and Ikey's with a nice little recovery. So I'm just holding my way in there. Both crashed and kind of both got back on. Um, I was, I have been racing Ikey's in points for a while now. He was actually behind me. I guess he still is in points. So, I don't think he's going to be winning anytime soon. Sauter. Saturday winning today. Oh God, this is tough. Go to the wall, Johnny. Still Jeez, there's plenty of room, man. Uh oh. Oh man. <laughs> Corn cob got in it. Oh, you hate to see it. That was synchronized spinning right there. That was kind of cool. All right. And that's gonna restart us ninth. Okay. So I don't. Yeah, the tires still aren't. They really aren't that bad, so I don't think we're gonna be too yeagly on this restart. Nance car overtime, just get all get all we can get right here. Stuart Friesen on the front row with Grand Inf I see I gave Stuart Friesen that gave Stuart Friesen another uh, another opportunity at this win. 
Is he going to do anything with it? I don't know, but uh, uh, here we go. Two to the line. I'm going to try to get all we can get. I might be able to sneak in the top five. This place, I, ooh, hold on. Now. It's yiggly. Oh, it's a little yiggly. It's a little yiggly, but it's still, I'm tired. It's still a little bit better than everybody else out here right now. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, Rerun's trying to come around at three. There's the Burton up there on the high lane. Hey, oh, God. Brett Moffat to the lead. Out of nowhere. Tyler Dip. Oh, nobody better than let Tyler Dipple sneak in there. Want to go. Oh, man. Oh, I think there's no, there's no ass end going off in the corner. Okay, we're bump drafting in Kentucky. Okay. Great. Oh. No, 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 no. Wow. I don't know what to make of that. I just destroyed the car, though. I got a top 10, I guess. It's go. It still scored me an A, so that's a, that's okay, I guess. But damn it, I, br I, I just couldn't save it. I couldn't save it. When, it. when it gets to doing that, man, it's like you can't save it. It's, there's just not enough wheel in it. The wheel is not, like, sensitive enough to save something like that. But I tried. I can't stand that I just destroyed that truck right there. Just the, the, I, I don't know. When you just restart... On worn tires, the thing is just like you're on ice. You're just wiggly. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Maybe if you did like another 10 laps on top of that to let them really like come back up to temp. I don't know. It doesn't make. I don't think it should be that out of control on the restarts on older tires. It shouldn't be. If it wasn't driving like that before, why is it driving like that now? Well, look at the finishing results. Brett Moffitt with the win. End finger dipple freezing. Burton, your top five. I'll take eighth. Matt Crafton rounds out your top 10. So look at the rest of it here. Johnny Sauter, Gustine. Had some tricky troubles in turn three. And uh, Corncop finished 20th. Had a great run going. Good job. It's all the way down to Ancrum. It blew up. And that right there is why I didn't want to wreck the car there at the end. Damn. Michael Coase Jr.'s on a hot streak. Damn right. I even ate shit and I'm still on a hot streak. How you feel? Uh-oh. Is this my... You've been really impressive these last few races. Yeah. Great job. Keep it up. <laughs> I don't know. I was... Come on. That was just funnier than what it should have been. What? You've been really impressive these last few races. Great job. Keep it up. I like that. I don't, I don't know what that is, but thank you. Big forehead dude, Tyler Ankrum. You're on a hot streak. Keep that alive. Okay. I, did not, I don't know if you know this, but we are not in a demolition derby. I mean, I knew. Did you? Did you know? I mean, I mean, you're the one who went off there and wrecked in turn three. It wasn't my fault. Sorry. I mean, it's the hardest corner in NASCAR. You've been around long. You should know that. Corn Cobb. The only way to enjoy a race with Michael Cozy Jr. is to forget about the terrible driving, the crash passes, and the fact that Michael Cozy Jr. is the worst driver of all time. The audacity that Jennifer Joe Corn Cobb has. I love this game. Gross. Now we go to Pocono. That's 15 whole laps. <laughs> Fun. You know, the good news is, though, I uh, finally got enough money. I can uh, improve one of these caps by five. Five engine. So now we got 90, 95, 90, 90. So that's going to work out for Pocono. Realistically, if everything worked out as realistically as supposed to, that would be a huge upgrade because engine power. El uh, Pocono got long straights. We do go to Eldora next, which that should be fun. So I got to start working on this short track truck here. So once again, 95, 90, 90. Let's hop into Pocono. Well, thank God this race is only 15 laps because this race is going to piss me off. Joe Nemechek doesn't look like himself. <laughs> Give Harrison Burton plenty of... Dude, I... Corn Cobb gave up qualifying position for new tires. So that's great. All right, well, here's the deal. There's, there's something right about Pocono in this game so far. I don't know. This is the first time I've tried Pocono. It's not even right. I sat here uh, way too long working on a setup because it pissed me off. And, like, the only way I can explain it is there's something, like, physically wrong. Like, there's something wrong with the physics. Like, you just, like, it doesn't matter what kind of setup you plug in around here. You can't get it to rip around the track like you should. I don't know. I just, like, it wouldn't turn. It, like, it just doesn't have the grip level to run around here fast enough. If that makes sense. Or at least what I, what I should be able to. 
I mean, engine power is one thing, but it's like, I don't know, man. I should be going, I should be able to get through the corners a lot quicker than I was at practice, and it was pissing me off. So it was like, I gotta, and I should be able to, uh, a way to make it looser, but I couldn't get it to turn. See what I mean? Like it, there's some, some, I don't know, you, you see it a lot. It's just like, it doesn't turn like it should. And it's not like just a setup thing, because I went, oh my god, here we go. It's going to be one of those races where it's going to be like three minutes of the race, because there's just too much shit like that, and the stage is over. This race is ridiculously short in real life, too. Not ridiculously, because nobody wants to watch a truck race at Pocono, but, um, yeah. I guess I'll pit. No. Yeah. Nah. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't. I tried so hard with the setup. I tried, like, and I got it to turn, but too much. You know what I mean? Like, there, you can't get the in-between. You can't get it. Because I tried everything to make it looser and to make it grip up around the corner so I could go faster. But I can't go faster. I just, I'm either, like, wrecking loose or it's just, like, it just doesn't turn. Like, there's something not right. And, I mean, that might not be the case, but... Fucking idiot. And that's stage two, everybody. Do I even pit? I don't think I do. Well, I tell you, it's gonna be a three-minute race. <laughs> oh my god, man. I don't like Pocono anyways, but yeah, it's just a, it's a combination of things. Because I told you about this before. One thing I really don't like about driving this game with a wheel is that it's like so, so dull. I can just whip the reel, the wheel left and right, and it's just like it doesn't really like it's so numb. So it's like when you go, you know, go off the turn, off into a corner, there's just nothing. Like you gotta crank it so hard. There's not like this. The steering is not fine tuned like at all. Um, I don't know if there's a way you can adjust on that, I, but I just on the G920, which I absolutely despise the wheel, off the wheel, worst wheel I've ever had in my life, just because of its flaws, but. Yeah, I don't know. You just gotta crank it. So look at that. Look how it just goes straight. Oh my God! Everybody just rips around here. It was so bad. Here's okay. First off, yeah, there you go. Dive it in and wreck and wreck me too. Thank you, Ben Rhodes. You fucking dumbass. I'm so glad this race is only like 15 laps. Yeah, I guess I'll pit now. But yeah, this, I mean it was so bad. I went back to a default setup to one of the game game setups. Because I put the same, I basically put the same, the same setup in every track because it works because it's NASCAR 4. But I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with this man. I don't know what to do with it. All right, I took some swings at it, got some more right rear air pressure. Hopefully, I can get it to ride on the right rear a little bit more. That's that's what it doesn't do. It doesn't ride on the right rear, which is funny because not only do I have the right rear track bar way up, but uh. <laughs> I don't know what else I did to the setup. It 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 should be riding on the right rear is what I'm saying, and it's not. So maybe that's what I'm trying to say is that I did things to the setup that should do one thing, but it ain't doing that one thing. I guess if it makes sense. I don't know, man. It's uh. Oh man, it's not the bad. It's like it it pisses me off partially because it's Pocono, but like. What are we doing here? Oh man, we're about to have like 50 overtimes. What a waste of a race, man. Why is Pokemon even on the schedule for trucks? Like it really shouldn't be. Go, go to a short track or something instead. This is stupid. Yeah, come over, wreck yourself. Come on over, wreck yourself. There's nothing I can do. Come on, either finish yourself off or I'll just finish it. Fucking dumbass. Now I'll go to the back. Now I'll go to the back. I'll go to the back. I'll try it again. Uh, I'm aggravated. I spent 45 minutes tinkering with the setup just to suck. That's another thing. At the end of the day, it wouldn't have mattered. But, like, what a yoke. I'm just ready to get through this race. Let's, let's just finish it right, right here. Two laps. That's plenty of time. Just got to get past the dumbass ride. Like, I, don't, I don't know what the rival system got to be tweet, man. Rival system got to be tweet. I know I could turn back the slider to make him not wreck as much, but like even still, oh brother, this thing feels so bad. It's just so not in the track. It's what bugs the shit out of me. And then it skates loose coming out of the corner because I loosened it up, but it doesn't do what I want it to. 
thanks for being looser on the corner. That's not what I adjusted for, but that's what I got. What did I buy you, ho? Look at this. It's loose on it. Hey, look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a shot in the middle of the corner, but that's not how the game works. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to you. It's just, it's, I don't know if any of you guys have run Pocono yet and have had a similar problem, but this is just like, it just goes straight. It go, I've never experienced this before. It just goes straight. Something's not right about this. Something's just not right. It ne like it just like I've done a lot so far, and nowhere has it ever just gone straight like this before. Even on top of all the adjustments I've made. I mean, I gotta get this thing whoa so far down. I gotta go like 130 mile an hour just to make the corner. I mean, it's big, long, wide corners, man. You don't need that much. Shit. I'm not gonna get back to the top 15, which sucks. This is a stupid race anyways. I probably should have cranked up the length a little bit, but clear. consistency, pass it on. Well, 18th, I guess. I might be able to sneak a couple more here. Maybe I get lucky, get three spots down here and turn three. I'm too far away. What a yoke. Johnny Sauter's going to win. Oh, no. That's going to hurt for the championship. That's going to put me as the eighth seed. That sucks. <sighs> what a stupid fucking race. That was just fucking stupid. Well, once again, Johnny Sauter with the win. That's not good. That's not good at all. Matt Crafton won a stage. And I finished 18th. Probably about where I should have finished. And had much more speed than that, so. That was just. That was just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Look. If you want to win races, you got to quit driving in the mirror. That was really fucking lame. That's also funny considering that's what literally everybody else does to me, but you know, whatever. 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 <sighs> mm. I'm like, I'm so done, dude. I'm not even. Sheldon Creed's arrival for what? For what? Yeah, there you have it. I'm the last, uh, the last playoff seed. So if anybody else now wins, that's that. So we're going to go off into the Dirt Derby next. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the last episode before the playoffs. So <laughs> come in. Come come, come by next time. See if I, see if I make it. Because I might not.